how's it going? It is me, Megan, and Wednesday's back here, uh, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark, and I like to make reseller content. Um, I like to do what's sold videos, unboxings, unboxing reviews, and also hauls, and today I'm doing a bins haul, and if I look a little crazy, it's because I just came back from the bins. I like to do this as soon as I get home. That way I can wash everything and I don't have to worry about where I'm putting everything. Um, so today was not as exciting. If you guys saw my last haul, um, I went back to that bins. And if you're from Portland, it's the one by the airport. It's not my favorite. I thought it was going to be because the last time, if you guys watched that video, I found Gucci. I found some great items and I wasn't even there for very long. Um, today was much <laughs> less exciting. Um, everything was really picked over. There was a lot of resellers there, and then also um, like teenage, college age kids looking for stuff for themselves. So that's pretty much a bad mixture for me because resellers are not always, but often looking for brands that you are also looking for. And then the teenagers and college kids are like my demographic. So yeah it was it was very picked over i still found some good stuff that i want to show you guys i did spend 70 dollars <laughs> so hopefully i have close to 70 items um hopefully my cost of goods is still about a dollar my cat just loves the smells of everything i'm going to be like fighting with her to show you guys this stuff um but yeah i still i spent 70 dollars. i did get some things for myself that i'll show you guys first um so I picked up these box things, and honestly, you could get these at the dollar store for a dollar, but I thought these would be great around Christmas time. There's some like snowboarders and skiers, and um, they all look the same. The white ones are like the bottom, but then the, this one's are like the top. Uh, I love these for Christmas gifts. It's so easy, so much easier than like um, wrapping paper and stuff. Uh, this is something I also picked up for myself. It's this cute vintage record. Um, honestly, so right at checkout, there was a pile of these. There was this one, and then some Disney ones. And I do love Disney, but the, the Disney ones were in, like you could see the spots and stuff. They were in worse condition than this. And this I'm just gonna use as decoration. But I can tell why the person didn't end up buying the records. Records are $1.29, which is like a pound worth of stuff. So. At my bins, you the more you buy, like the more pounds, the less it is per pound. So I think it's about 25-ish pounds you have to hit. Um, I'm using like a new method when I go to the bins. I'm also looking for stuff to send to thread up. Now that I'm going back to my other part-time job and being back at the bins, I think it'd be nice to send stuff to thread up and have them sell it for me. Um, and then this is the last thing I got for myself. It's this really gorgeous floral, like, I don't know. I don't know what medium this is. It seems like a digital print almost. It is dated. I should look that up because the back is also really nice and it says museum mounting and framing. Protect your original art investment. So if this is worth something, that'd be cool. But honestly, this is gorgeous and I'm probably going to keep it forever. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I did get a lot of kids. <laughs> so at the bins, there was a lot of kids stuff, a lot of vintage and a lot of men's. And though I picked those things up, they're not like the most exciting to me, but just a little heads up, a lot of what I got is that stuff. And a lot of the kids' items, I'm probably gonna be sending to thread up because if you saw any of my recent videos, it just isn't hasn't been selling well, very well for me. Uh, it is gonna be back to school season soon, so maybe they'll do well. I don't know, I'll decide later if I'm gonna sell any of these pieces. Um, but this is art class. It's a size large, 10, 12, and this is actually a kid's piece. Um, I actually have another piece by Art Class, and honestly, don't really know why I picked this up, because that one doesn't really get much attention. Um, it's like a bomber paisley denim jacket, and this one's like a sheer mesh almost. Um, I don't really know where Art Class is sold, but their stuff is super cute and trendy as far as like kids' clothing goes. These are a pair of overalls really cute striped like vintage sorry my cat's playing with my mic um but yeah really cute vintage striped kids overalls the pockets and everything um this brand is called 
sprockets and it's a 3t it's 100 percent cotton um yeah probably 90s these are so cute these i might end up selling myself i don't know if thread up takes vintage or if they'll price it um well all right so then i picked up these express jeans these are nothing too crazy they are size 12 which is nice um and they're they're a mid-rise which someone made a good point saying low rise sells high rise sells but mid rise is a tough sell which i find surprising i used to only wear mid rise in like high school but these are just super cool distressed in really great condition they don't feel like they've actually been worn very much stressing the pockets this one did have a stain i think yeah there's like a, a grass stain there but i have really good stain remover and i think i'll be able to get that out pretty easily and then i got these jeans and the only reason i picked these up is because i sold a very similar pair to these that i got in a throw-up box for like 20 bucks so i think these will probably sell around there they're actually aeropostal aeropostal jeans um, and they have some distressing on them. These are actually in better condition than the ones I got. They are a size 36, 36, 32. This piece I'm probably going to send to ThreadUp. I'm planning on sending all my loft pieces to ThreadUp, even the ones I have listed, just because they don't sell for me. I get attention on them, but not a lot. Um, this is loft size small. And it's this polka dot cute little work dress with like a boat cowl neck detail it goes like that then i picked up this i think i'm also going to send this to thread up it's aster i don't know if that's like pronounce it but a-s-t-r it's a size extra small and has this cute little cutout details right here um i have a a-s-t-r aster dress um that i'll probably that i have in my closet that i'll probably send to thread up because i've had it for a very long time and it just isn't moving it's kind of nice for the holidays so maybe it'll move around there but i know that they on their website they'll put it as an anthropology brand which i don't think is the case um and then these i'm definitely like i said a lot of the kids stuff i'm probably gonna send a thread up um because this is camo i might try to sell it myself but honestly i got so much kids stuff i'm probably just gonna send it all to them uh, old navy size five cute kids Cargo pants, I love, love to pick up camo. And then I found a lot of cute Disneyland stuff. This does have some stains on it. It says Buzz and Buddy and it has the little aliens, but on the front, I don't know if you can see it, there's like discoloration and stains. If I can't get it out, um, I will just sell it myself. And honestly, I wouldn't have picked this up because I think the characters look a little crazy, <laughs> but it does say like Disneyland Resort on the bottom and I think that'll make it just sell better. Everyone's always looking for Disneyland stuff, especially because um, some of that stuff you can only get at the parks. And then these are something I picked up kind of near the end. They're a pair of Nike baseball pants. They're size small. This nice gray color with these like mesh. I believe these are boys or men's. Hopefully a men's. I'll have to look it up. These are very, very tiny, so they actually might be a boys. In that case, I might just send these to thread up. They're really nice. They're in really good condition. Um, uh, this is another cute little kids piece. It has these cute, like, watercolor narwhals on it. Um, yeah, I, like, like I said, it wasn't really worth it to be there for so long and not buy anything. And then it's not really worth it unless you're buying at least 25 pounds. And there was a lot of kids stuff there today, so I figured I would just buy all the cute pieces and send them to thread up so it doesn't cost very much and if thread up sells them then they're doing the work for me so it's like a win-win ish situation <laughs> um so i've never heard this i've never heard of this before it's called crew cuts but those two diamonds mean um like outlet and i think this might be like us maybe like the kids j crew kids brand maybe but stars are really in and this is super cute with the cow neck in that pocket this would be really nice for back to school if that's happening and then this isn't like a very exciting brand but it's apartment nine and i know it's like the end of the bathing suit season but i thought that this was a nice like extra large um, it's just the top but you could pair this with any bottoms um, but it has the tie-dye and then it also has like this crochet strappy back 
So if I do sell this myself, I'm gonna have to get it posted soon. And then I got these Capri leggings. I usually like to stay away from like Capri leggings, but these were Fabletics, and I've never sold Fabletics leggings before, and they seem to be in decent condition. Um, like a little bit of pilling, but I can get that out with my sweater shaver. And there's the logo. I assume you're supposed to wear it flat down like this, and I think that might be a sort of a dated style, but I bought them. <laughs> and these were the only pair of shoes I got. There, was, there wasn't many bins for shoes, so I figured I was going to look through them because also there weren't a lot of people over there, but this was so picked over. They were, it was so picked over today. And I really didn't feel like spending hours looking for matches on shoes. And I did find some cute, like, one pair of shoes. It just wasn't worth it for me to try and search for them all day. But this is a pair of cowboy boots I got. Cowboy boots are super in right now. Part of that, like, southwestern vibe. Um, the bottoms are pretty flat, which are probably... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's probably not a great thing because they're probably really slippery. But um, if you're, like, line dancing, that might be nice. And they're leather. They definitely need to be, like, dusted off. And I do have some shoe polish. I might have made a mistake picking these up. <laughs> but I looked up the brand, and it's Acme, A-C-M-E. And they seem to have some pretty good comps. Again, I'm going to need to put some work into them. And I also don't see a size. I think I'll go through this basket. I got this basket. Um, I'm probably gonna take that little paw thing off just because it's stained, but we've been looking for a place to put all of Wednesday's toys so they're not all out in the open. All right, so then I got this cute little hoodie. I don't know if this is a kid's or a woman's, but it's a size medium. This is Adidas, and then it's also reversible. And I will say it's not in like the best of conditions. It's like a windbreaker on this side. There and there is like a hole in the back, but I don't think that's a big deal, especially because I think the other side is a lot cuter. It says logo on the back. These are a kid's old navy pair of overalls, kind of like a big kid, uh, size large 10 to 12. These I'll probably send to thread up. Found this, this is so cute. I'm assuming I found a lot of kids' Disney stuff, and I think that they were probably all donated by the same person. Um, but it says, well, this says Walt Disney World, so maybe not. The other one was Disneyland. Um, size, small. And I just think this is the cutest thing. Honestly, they, at the parks, they, the cutest items that they have are all kid sizes. Oh, I forgot I picked this up. <laughs> so I got this um, Columbia vest. It's just like a fleece, like a light blue color. Um, it's in pretty good condition. She's in the bag. That one's empty. She can chill in there. Uh, it's a size extra large, that's why I got it. It was a bigger size. Then I got a couple of bras. This one is strapless and it's like turquoise and lacy. Kind of like a bandeau. It's cute, it's in pretty good condition. Um, it's a size extra small and it's from Victoria's Secret. And that's the only reason I picked it up was because, well, one, because it was in good condition, but two, because it was from Victoria's Secret. This. <laughs> I like this pattern a lot. It's from Zayful, which I, is just like a cheapy online brand. Honestly, I think when I read that, I thought it said Zara, <laughs> but it also just has one pad in there. So I'm probably going to take out the pad and say that it's unlined um, and then they can put their own pads in there. It's a size medium. It's cute cactus again, Southwestern vibes. These are um, just exertion, which I don't know, is that Target, Walmart? Um, size. But I got it because they were a size double XL and they have this cute almost like snake like pattern and pockets. They smell actually clean. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have like the reflectors. They are again a capri, which isn't the best, but I like to work out in capris. I just don't think they sell super well as leggings go. Got another cute little Disneyland. I honestly don't remember half the things I got. So this is. Um, FJ, which stands for something joy, I think. I've looked this up before, and I'm pretty sure it sells well. I'll insert what it's, it stands for. Um, it doesn't have a size that I can see. Yeah. 
I don't see a size. I'll have to look a little bit later, but I do think this is a men's and it does seem to be a bigger size, maybe like an XL. But I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, I also forgot I got this. <laughs> I got this. It's just like a knit um, Nike beanie, but it's reversible. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, I forgot I got this too. Uh, I swear I went through my card at the end, but I don't remember seeing any of these things. This is called Great Coast International, which might be vintage. I'm not sure, but it's this really cute little popover with this nice pattern on it that gives me kind of like Southwestern vibes almost. It says four, which I don't know what that means. Maybe they had vanity sizing. It says original Green Coast clothing. Did I say Green Coast? I don't know. I don't know what I said, but it's Green Coast International. I don't know. I thought that was cute. If it's vintage, that'd be nice. Uh, then I found another North Face. I found a North Face when I was there last time. Similar to this one. This one's just a black fleece. Men's size large. The North Face. I don't know. I don't know if North Face is actually doing so well for me. It does sometimes, but the fleeces are not doing as great. This I thought was so cute. Dalmatian print is really in, and of course these are like the 101 Dalmatian characters. Um, it's Disney Baby is the brand. Oh, I didn't even know these were Disney branded. Um, zero to three month. I might sell that myself. I like Disney stuff. And then we got another pair of jeans. These are American Eagle 360 Next Level, size four. And they're skinny and light wash and really distressed, which is really what some people are looking for, even a hem. I think these are high rise. Yeah, those are high rise. I like selling American Eagle jeans. People just know that they're really good quality. All right, so then I found this wool rich woman size petite. I've never sold this brand, but I heard it does well. It's just a little pullover. I did look it over for holes and I didn't see any. And I was kind of surprised no one bought it, but I think someone might have washed it. Cause if you go like this to wool and it makes that crunchy sound, I think it means someone might have washed it wrong. Uh, so then I got these Levi's 525 straight leg, size 10. And this black wash has this cute paisley band. These are a bit stretchy. I don't think I've ever sold 525s, but there's a black straight leg and they have the flat pocket, which I've never seen on Levi's. Um, black label, I don't know if that's a thing, black tab. These I am now just realizing have been like very poorly hemmed, but maybe I can, um, ditch rip that and fix it or maybe it's supposed to look like that I don't know the button literally just says jeans on it there's no branding but they're like a vintage pair of jeans with these oh we can't really see but there's like a light wash high rise vintage pair of jeans and then it has like this almost like braiding twist to the back and then a zipper at the bottom that says Plus, which I don't think is the brand. They have been, again, like poorly hemmed, <laughs> but I might just leave them like that because they don't have a size, so I'm gonna have to measure them anyway. Um, and then I got this other pair of vintage jeans. These are Cheek Chick, <laughs> Cheek Chick, um, made in the USA. Cute black wash. They have like the V in the back, if you can see that. And then like the pleats in the front. Pleated jeans are in style. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are cute vintage. They have like the paper tag. It says size 18. I don't think they're a size 18, but I think they're probably like a 10 or 12. Those are cute. I love vintage jeans. So this is a new to me brand. I still have to do some research on it. It's called Mod Ref and it's a size medium. Pounds looks pretty good anywhere from like 15 to 20 um, but this is like a very stretchy just like green hoodie that's in good condition so that's why I picked that up and then I tried to look through some of the new bins but they were already picked over so really I was just looking through a pretty picked over bin all over again but I did find another pair of American Eagle jeans American Eagle Co Outfitters super stretched these are the jegging these I think might be high rise or mid rise but they're a great camo like cargo style almost almost like a moto style 
There is like a stain there. That'll probably come out. It's also really hard to see with this pattern. I did not know um, American Eagle made camo pants, but these are also a size four like the other ones. There was only like, there was one like really good bin that I found, well, really good, <laughs> somewhat good that I think um, a teenager or preteen donated all their stuff. So this is a cute uh, Vans hoodie and it has like the little skateboard stitched right there. This I thought was super cute. Um, I don't see a size off the bat, but it just says like Vans. <laughs> Now this was um, a soft surroundings piece. I didn't, even, I didn't even turn it inside out. I just bought it because it said soft surroundings. Um, it's a dress. It's collared. I'm not showing you guys anything. I was just checking because I realized now that I flipped it inside out, it has all this nice beadwork. And I don't see any like missing. It's this very like lightweight see-through like beachy dress. This great floral print. Um, and then it has pockets also. Probably have to get this listed soon too. But yeah, that's really cute. There's a style number on there, so I'll be able to find that. These I probably shouldn't have picked up, but I did. Um, they are a regular fit um, Armani jeans. Now I know Armani has a lot of lower end lines. Um, Armani Express I know is a lower end line. Um, so I don't know if these are going to be good or not. They, I think they are vintage. It says size 33, then also says J31. I don't know. Really they are definitely, um, I think a men's jean. They are distressed and like just have that worn feeling to them. BA emblem, which I don't even know what that is. These are a kid's pair of Under Armour. Basketball shorts, kind of like a neon navy camo pattern. These are little kids, a pair, little pair of kids, Oshkosh Bagosh, like denim, denim jeggings, <laughs> joggers, not jeggings. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, this is a very similar pair. These are Cat and Jack joggers. That's all going to thread up. This I just love. It's from Jimbery but it says girls rule the world and the world's all pretty and flowery and glittery. This is also a kid's item. This one I might sell because it is a bit worn and faded, but it's a camo hoodie and it says, you see it? it says John Deere and it has a little John Deere album down, emblem down there. I think it's cute. I think someone will buy it. I found this bra and then after I like picked it up and put it in my cart, I'm like, I don't know if it's meant to be yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a very pale yellow. And then after I put it in my cart, I'm like, that's probably not supposed to be yellow. It's probably supposed to be white, but it's in pretty good condition. It's like a vintage, I think it's a vintage Victoria's Secret um, bra. It's a 34C and I think it's cute. The lace is a bit stiff, but like there's still stretch to it. So maybe it's not super old. Um, this is another pair of American Eagle. These are a pair of shorts. These I do think are an older style, um, but they're the stretch and they're midi and they're like a neon pink color. Probably get like not too much for that 15-ish. I like selling their denim. I don't know so much about their other stuff. These are, I was excited to find. These are Lane Bryant, size 14 jeans skinny i love selling lane bryant i've only ever sold it once before and i got it in a thread up box and they sold for around 30 dollars. so that is very exciting this i'm probably going to send a thread up um it's a uh, trina turk which i don't honestly know that much about um but it's kind of like almost like a leopard dalmatian print collared it's 100 percent silk this i thought was cute I might just end up sending it to thread up. I think it's vintage, but I don't know. It's Christopher and Banks size eight. And I picked it up because it was this really cute denim floral dress with this like different kind of denim on the bottom. Um, something that's in right now is cottage core, which is sort of like an aesthetic slash style. How like lag and look is a style slash aesthetic, I guess. Um, 
And if you look it up, Cottagecore, I mean, this doesn't really fit into Cottagecore, but um, they're really into like florals and like milkmaid sort of vibes. Um, so that's a good keyword to use if you have items like that. This I thought I threw back, but I guess I didn't. It's a gap, size eight, like paper bag, lightweight, coral colored skirt. These I'm also taking like a bit of a risk with. I didn't look up comps, I just bought them. Um, they are a weatherproof vintage. I, I, they're not vintage, they just say vintage and they're like a navy men's cargo pant. Like, yeah, I don't really know if weatherproof does well. They're 3630, they're a good size and they're stretchy. I think they might be nice for like hiking and stuff. I saw a lot of weatherproof branded things. But that's the only thing I picked up. These were really nice. Um, they were trying to sell this at Goodwill for $10, but I got it at the bins. They're Ann Taylor Loft, size A, the Julie pants. They're like a trouser with this great floral print on them. It's a dark floral, so I think it'll be appropriate even in the fall. They're very pretty and they're very nice. This will probably go to thread up. Again, Loft just doesn't do well for me. I get likes on it, but I probably have it priced too high. And then I got this Billabong dress. It's a size large. I do like to sell Billabong. Um, and it's again a great dark floral pattern. So this would be good for fall and winter. Um, three quarter length sleeves. Very flowy and beachy. And then I picked up these Talbots pants. They were new a tag. Um, they're a 4P. They're the Hampshire and they were originally $99, but they were on sale for $79. And they're like a trouser. These are definitely going to thread up. I've tried to sell Talbot to new tag items on my own and they just don't sell or get any attention. So I don't want to <laughs> try and sell those. So these are also gonna go to thread up. Um, they're cute kids cat and jack size large again um here comes the sun now we can see long very long pair of overalls cat and jack i think is sold at target let me try and do this while the sun's still out okay then i got this wild fable size extra large jumpsuit i saw a lot of wild fable there today which is a target brand but i decided to pass on a lot of it but this was a jumpsuit and it was in a bigger size and it's a great fall color with the wide leg. So I think this will sell. It has a cute little button front. They were trying to sell this for $10 at Goodwill. This is another new to me brand. It's Lilla P. It's a size extra small and I still have to do some research on it, but the comps look to be pretty good. It's this cute like heathered knit moto jacket. It says size extra small, but I think this would definitely fit a small. This, I didn't look up comps. I was looking up comps on everything and then I think this just got lost in my cart somewhere. Um, this is a Gary, which I've never heard of, but this was the second Gary piece I saw at the bins. But it's this like heavy duty knit jacket, like a navy men's jacket. Um, I don't know if I didn't show you guys the patch, but it has like the French flag on it, I believe that is. Um, and it's in pretty good condition. Uh, it has some Sherpa lining. It's just polyester. Same thing goes for this jacket. I don't know how I lost these jackets in my cart because they're so huge and I wasn't able to look them up. But it's this really cute long um, double XL, I believe, navy reversible coat. Uh, it's very, very soft and it's in great condition. So it's like a windbreaker on one side and then almost like a Sherpa on the other side. Um, has button closure. I'm trying to find the label. Okay, it's Outbrook Women. It's a 2X made in the Ukraine. Interesting. Hopefully that's worth something. I mean, it's really soft and it's nice and long. Um, so hopefully it'll be good. This is another brand I've never really heard of. Uh, it's this like 
army green with the striped the gray color block and the striped sleeve now honestly this doesn't feel like anything special like it feels really cheap um it's also a little stain on it but i think i could get it out but it's 12 p.m by mon amy usa um i looked up comps and they're kind of around that 20 dollars range so i thought i'd try it this i picked up as i was like leaving it's a victorious sport uh crew neck i honestly wouldn't have picked it up it has all this great like logo work on it and i'm super in i only have a few more pieces left these i think i might try and sell but i might also send them to thread up there's this brand that i cannot pronounce it's in a different language and i think it's new without tags because it's also this button thing attached um, but the comps looked pretty good on these. They're size 36 and they're like a peach colored trouser. I really hate to sell trousers. I am not a fan. Um, so that's why I'll probably send them to Fred up. I can't close them right now, but they're this coral color. They're in really good condition. They're cuffed, they're nice and lightweight. Um, might've been better for summer, spring, but you get what you get when you get it, right? This, I don't know if it's a woman's or a kid's. It's a size medium. Um, Tommy Hilfiger. I only got it because it has the spell out. If I figure out this is kids, I'll probably send it to um, Thread Up. But it's cute. It's kind of like a boxy. The sleeves aren't full length, I don't think. Right, I got like three more things. Then I have to go figure out what my cat's doing. <laughs> Um, these I also purchased inside out. So these are another pair of Fabletics capris. These were like a dark bluish purple gray. Um, they do have some like light pilling, but there's the Fabletics. And these are power hold made by Fabletics. Um, I don't see a size, but they seem very small, probably like an extra small. All right, and then these are my last two pieces. This I bought cause it's very like Southwestern so adorable very cute like cross almost pattern long sleeves it's cropped as like this mock neck now i don't know if this is handmade or what there's no like labels on it but then like the back's open and it ties shut there's little snaps on the sleeves i do feel like this is probably handmade it's just, it's so cute. I, I was like, oh, I'll leave it for one of those other, like, girls or boys to find who were shopping. Um, because I'm like, oh, one of them's going to pick this up and think it's so cute. But then I was thinking, what if they don't? Because it's, like, handmade. And I just couldn't let it go to the landfill. That just would have been so sad. Okay, this is the last thing I got. And my favorite thing, if there's nothing wrong with it, <laughs> I honestly threw it in my cart and haven't looked at it but it's an Urban Outfitters like teddy jacket. It's so soft, um, the zipper works. <laughs> um, I honestly didn't look too closely at it cause I didn't want to have to find any flaws, but it's this really cute blush colored like bomber jacket almost. Ugh, love, there's extra small. I was about to say, I think it's an extra large cause this is huge, but it's boxy. I think this could fit an extra large. I think that would fit me. But that's probably my favorite item that I found today. And it's sad because it's Urban Outfitters and Urban Outfitters does not actually sell well for me. Rough. But yeah, that was my haul. If you guys know anything about the brands that I wasn't too sure about, please let me know. Um, again, this wasn't like my most exciting bins trip. I do like all the things I got, which is good. <laughs> um, otherwise, I would probably just be like a waste of money. But yeah. Hopefully we can sell some of these things quickly. Uh, I did spend $70 um, and I did get quite a few things for myself as you saw. that This artwork is pretty heavy so it probably took up a few of those pounds um, but I'm glad I got it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have good luck with all your bins trips and your Goodwill hauls and your mystery boxes and all that good stuff and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!